Hey guys, uh, we're here with our first hand. It's not too bad. We've got a Soul Leader and a Garyo. We don't have any of our black, but we have way more black. Uh, so we're just going to keep it. We're on the draw. All right, of course, we drew a two drop that we can't actually play yet. All right, the artifact deck. Oh, well. That'll help us with our mana situation. It's interesting, black-white artifacts. Oh, double Glintock Idols. That is pretty ferocious uh, coming out the gate. If he has enough artifacts to support it, that's going to hurt. Well, we drew a swamp anyway. Um, we may want to ramp later, but I don't think we want to right now. I think we're going to play out our Blinding Soul Eater. Next turn, we'll play the Garial, probably. Yeah, if he's got a bunch of artifacts, this is going to hurt. Oh, Lord. Triple Glenhawk Idols, guys. That's it's not a good place to be for me. Yeah, that's bad. I wonder how many he got. Five or six, maybe. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, we're in trouble here. He's just come out, out the gate way too fast for us. Um, hmm. He can for six, knock us to eight. Um, what do we want to do here? I think we're just going to play our Garial. Hope we draw like Overwhelming Stampede or something like that soon. Just try to go wide. We'll swing with that because we made it so we can't uh, tap a dude down anyway. Okay, I forgot he could do that. Doesn't really matter, though. Yeah, we'll be, being, be bringing in our Sundering Vitae against this guy with his triple Glenhawk Idol. That's all he's played so far, which is pretty outrageous. Fourth Glenhawk Idol, and it'd pretty much be scoop time. I mean, it may be scoop time anyway. He just has to animate all three of them. We don't have anything that flies. Plummet will probably come in too after what we see in this game. What we've seen in this game. Okay, that means he must be doing something that's not an artifact this turn. All right, this thing's friend. Um. Hmm. Right now he can swing for two, four, six, seven next turn. Um, but I mean, yeah, we're in pretty big trouble. I mean, we have to pay life if we want to tap with that anyway. So it would come out to the same amount of life. Um, so I think we're going to play the drone. Pray we top deck our stampede. I don't even know if we can win if we do that, though, but that's what we're going to do. Might as well swing with our Soul Eater again. Can't believe this. <laughs> what happens if we top deck our Stampede? This will get plus these all. Everything will get plus four, plus four, and trample. So it'll be lethal uh, for sure. Especially since he's swinging. Looks like he's swinging away. Yeah, so we got to top deck the Stampede or lose. And even if we do, he may have removal. Um, but let's see if we hit it. It's basically what it comes down to. Alright, well, that's going to make it harder. I'm sure he's going to hit 
the dread drone. No, he's going to hit that. So I think we can still win five. Yeah, he's at 19, and we would get through for 19 exactly if we uh, if we pulled this off. If we just top deck it. Here it is. Nope. All right, uh, we're just going to scoop. No point in showing him anything. He got a crazy hand. Always saw him with the Glenhawk Idols as far as artifacts go. Um, but I guess they're okay even in a not-artifact deck, but they're way better in an artifact deck. Um, but So I think we're going to side in both Plummet, because we saw that too, and um, Sundering Vitae. Um, we drew way too many 5-drops in that hand, which was a definite risk that we were taking making this deck. Um, maybe we want to lose Necrogenesis here because we saw that three of his creatures aren't really creatures. Even if we kill them, we won't be able to exile them. Um, we want to keep the Afflictions. They would have been nice in that situation. We want the Dread Drone 2 and Endric Sar. Uh, Gnarly Pack, sure, we want that too. Maybe, yeah, we'll lose one of the Blood Throne Vampires. And go with this. And that was a rough first game. Our opponent had a pretty crazy hand. And of course we have a hand like this now, but I'm going to keep it. Um, we've got removal and a two drop, so that's not bad. Uh, we've got 18 lands, so we're bound to draw into green. So I say that, of course. It may end up not happening at all. But we do have this and this together, which is basically GG if we can get there. So I may have forced things a little too much because I pulled that, but I've been beaten by it. I've, I have a friend who's been beaten by it. I know, I know a lot of people have been beaten by that card. It's just so good. Right, well. Which is okay, but not exactly what we want right now. All right, we will take one. Glint Hawk Idol. No Kami of Ancient Law. All right, well, we drew something we can play at least. And something which can be pretty great. Can also block pretty well right now, which isn't irrelevant. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll block there and take two. If he has a trick, so be it. Yeah, we really need our green. Okay, mighty leap it is. Traded it for a card. Wow. Well, that's the the land drawn's not going so well for us. Uh, we'll end our turn. Hold up Nameless Inversion. Not that we really have a choice otherwise. Um, so, yeah. We'll just take four here. I don't see a reason not to. Um, yeah, we're in trouble though here in round one. That is for certain. Yeah, just getting his two drops out there. I mean, if we can get to five, but we need to draw two green, so doesn't look great for us. Yeah, now we're at four. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. <sighs> Not great. Although, if we can nameless inversion something and then cast this guy... It would be relevant. Yeah, maybe we wanted those lacerators. They're working out pretty well for him. Um, I think we got a block too, unfortunately. So we'll block here. Um, at this point, I mean, these lacerators are about to get better than the 
are worse than the Kami, so I think I'll kill a Kami. And then if we can get to five for scuttling death, we can kill trade something for scuttling death. And then we can um, get back our nameless inversion too. But yeah, we're in, we are definitely in trouble here. And there's a Glenhawk Idol. Hey there. Uh, you might be a little too late though, buddy. But we did get it. Um, I think I'd rather play the death out, trade with something, get back. Uh, what's, a, what's a who's it? You don't lose life anymore. Good for you. Must be nice. I'm about to lose some. The next turn will probably just keep up uh, Nameless Inversion and Plummet. I, that, we're going to kill one guy here. So we'll still be alive, but just, just barely, if that's what we do. Okay. And that's enough to kill us. Uh, actually... We can make something small enough that we don't die this turn. So why don't we? We also get the soul shift, survive for a turn. Uh, doubt it'll be worth anything. Uh, but we can do it. It's the only way we survive, so. Yep. Now we take seven. Feels good. And now we lose. Uh, so we scoop. Yep. Round one, we weren't real impressive. We lost in about 12 minutes. <laughs> game one, his hand was crazy. And game two, uh, we just couldn't get the green we wanted. Um, maybe I shouldn't have kept it. Green is less in our deck than black. But hopefully we, have, we do better going into round two. So thanks for watching.